welcome back. Today I am making two different types of ham subs. Italian ham and hot buttery ham and Swiss subs. These are the ingredients you're going to need to make the subs. Now the first thing you're going to need is submarine buns. And if you can't find any sub buns at your local supermarket, you can always use French bread. And you can cut it into sections. I'm also using Prima Deli smoked ham, butter, mozzarella cheese. I also have some baby Swiss. I need Italian dressing, shredded lettuce, and tomato. Now, if you want to add other things to your subs, go ahead and get those and keep them on hand. All right, the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna take and split our sub buns. Put them right down the middle. All right, once I've got all of my subs cut, I'm going to start layering on some ham. Now you can use packaged ham, deli ham, any kind you want. set this aside and I'm going to shred up my cheese. Now you could do this in a food processor. Works just as well. I like the old fashioned way. cheese shredded. I'm going to go over top of each one with a good generous amount of cheese over top of my ham. I like a lot of cheese. Oh my. Now this is just about ready to go in the oven. I'm going to put this on 350. Probably about 10 minutes, but we're going to keep an eye on them. Make sure that they don't get overdone. I put my subs in. I'm going to put it on my middle rack. I'm going to come back and check them. We're going to check on our subs, and it looks like they're not quite finished yet, so we'll come back and check on them again. Our subs are about done, so we're going to go ahead and take these out of the oven now. As you can see, my subs are ready, so now I'm going to take, I've got some lettuce and some tomatoes right here. I'm going to take, and I'm going to put my lettuce on first. Use more or less, whatever you like. Now you don't have to use shredded lettuce. You can use head of lettuce or you know, all your favorite kind, whatever kind it is. Okay, now we're going to put us some tomatoes on top. Now I'm going to drizzle this with some Italian dressing. serve this up on a plate right now. Here is our finished Italian ham subs. These smell so good and they are absolutely delicious. These pair well with chips or french fries or even a bowl of one of my soups. You can go to my channel for some delicious soups when you're finished watching this. The toasted ham and the melted cheese are so delicious together with the Italian dressing. 
I like to serve a little Italian dressing just for dipping on the side. Now we're ready to work on our next sub. The next one we're working on is hot buttery ham and Swiss, so stay tuned. that we're making is hot ham and Swiss, hot buttery ham and Swiss. You're going to need about three tablespoons of butter and we're going to start that melting in our skillet. Our butter is melted mostly. We're going to add in some of our ham. Figure about two pieces to three pieces of sandwich. Three. Our ham is starting to get brown. We're going to watch it. We're going to start flipping it over. Look at that beautiful color. Get a little bit longer. My ham looks like it's about done, and I'm going to take this over there and put it on my subs. I'm going to start layering my subs with my ham. We're just going to go over them until we layer everything with our ham. Our last piece. And we're going to come back and we're going to put some baby Swiss on top. Look at that beautiful ham. The coloring is good. We're going to take baby Swiss and we're going to place it on each one. We're going to pop this back in the oven. We're going to melt it till it's nice and toasty. Now with this sandwich, I don't add anything to this because it doesn't need anything. Got our hot buttery ham and our Swiss. All right, and we'll be ready to go just as soon as it's finished. Here's our hot buttery ham and Swiss. Look how melted that cheese is. They are done. Now if you want yours a little more toasty, you can just leave it in a little bit longer. I'd say these went in there seven minutes. Here is our finished hot ham and buttery Swiss. These look and smell delicious. We're going to come back and we're going to serve these up on a platter. Here is our hot buttery ham and Swiss sup. The caramelized ham and the gooey melted baby Swiss taste delicious together. This also tastes great with a nice warm bowl of soup or some fries or chips. Now you can check out the soup recipes on my channel to pair with these subs. Now if you enjoyed this recipe, if you give this one a try, be sure to let me know by leaving a comment down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more yummy comfort foods like this. And stay tuned for more awesome recipes that are coming up. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.